Well, a new experimental Alzheimer's drug is showing promising results in slowing the fatal disease that impacts more than 6 million Americans. Join me now is Dr. Neha Nurula from Stanford Healthcare. So, doctor, thanks for joining us. How does this particular drug actually work? That's right, Ryan. So just last week, pharmaceutical companies Biogen and Esai um, held a press release actually announcing exciting results from their cl clinical trial of a new monoclonal antibody called lecanemab. Now, one of the potential hypotheses that causes Alzheimer's is clumping of a protein called amyloid. And this is where this medication plays a huge role. It comes in and starts to clear these clumps from the brain. And potentially what this is doing is preventing damage to nerve cells and preventing memory loss, which could then help people maintain other functions that are lost in Alzheimer's disease. Currently, our treatment options are quite limited, and most of them are only used to manage symptoms and not actually directed towards the disease process. And we have no cure at this time. And this is why lecanemab could potentially be such a game changer in the Alzheimer's space where we haven't really seen any big changes in treatment in the past years, um, even decades. So you kind of touched on this, you calling it as a game changer. I mean, so how effective has that drug been in, in those trials? Sure. Um, so the Clarity AD study, which is the official name, um, examined about 1,800 patients with mild cognitive impairment as well as early Alzheimer's disease. And in, in, in this group, um, some received the, the medication, lecanemab, and others received a placebo medication, and they were followed for 18 months. And what they found was that there was a 27% reduction in cognitive decline. And they were using scales that we normally use in dementia to measure things like memory, things like judgment, things like problem solving and personal care. Additionally, they also scanned the brains of these patients. And what they found was that the patients that received the lecanemab drug actually had less amyloid clumps in the brain. Now, whether these two are related, again, it is a hypothesized uh, cause of Alzheimer's. Um, we don't know, and this is why this has to be continued to be studied. Um, but what we are seeing is that there is a significant reduction um, and that it seems to be safe. Um, they also saw less side effects like brain swelling and bleeding. Um, so long term, we're still waiting to see what this would uh, do um, in terms of early onset to, and how the disease will progress in these patients. But um, the full data still has to be shared and we'll have to fully understand whether this medication is indeed as promising as it theoretically sounds. So, so it does sound promising. So how soon, though, could this drug actually receive FDA approval? Right. So the pharmaceutical companies have asked for accelerated approval for lecanemab. And as I mentioned, we still have to sift through the data. The FDA is going to go through and look for efficacy data, for safety data. And at its earliest, though, what the FDA announced was they could potentially give this approval by January 2023. Now, that doesn't mean the, the drug is going to be on the market at that time. That just means that it's approved for the next set of trial, which will be the phase four. And it will have to show clinical benefit in this trial before we get this into the hands of our patients. All right. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Neha Narulov from Stanford Healthcare. Always good information. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me.